In this video, we are going to learn about Glacial Lake Outburst Flooding. Recently, this term was in the news with respect to the Uttarakhand flood. This incident happened on 7th February, that is on Sunday morning. First, I'll show you the exact place where this disaster took place. It happened in Tapovan area of Joshi Mutt in Uttarakhand's Chamoli district. Chamoli district is part of the Garhwal division of Uttarakhand. The people of Garhwal are known as Garhwali and they speak the Garhwali language. The region consists of rugged mountain ranges running in all directions and separated by narrow valleys, which in many cases become deep gorges or ravines. The highest mountains are in the eastern Chamoli district. Chamoli district also has many pilgrimage and tourist sites, including Badrinath, Hemkund Sahib and Valley of Flowers. And by the way, Chamoli also happens to be the birthplace of famous Chipko movement. Anyways, just to understand the elevation of this district, the second highest mountain in India after Kanchanjunga, that is Nanda Devi, is located in this district. That means the elevation of this district ranges from 800 meters to 8000 meters above sea level. The northern division of this district is occupied by high mountain ranges and snow-covered peaks. And as we all know, these mountains are part of Himalayan mountain range. That means they are composed of high-grade metamorphic and volcanic rocks. On the other hand, the south division of this district is occupied by mountain ranges of low altitude and are composed of sedimentary and low-grade metamorphic rocks when compared to the northern division. The northern districts of Uttarakhand are known for glaciers. These glaciers of Uttarakhand also serve as vital source of providing fresh water to the state. When water comes down from regions of higher elevation to lower elevation, governments often install hydropower projects to tap into more gravitational potential energy for meeting domestic energy demands. Two such hydropower projects by the name of Rishi Ganga Power Project and Tapovan Vishnugad Project have been nearly washed away by the flash flood. The recent Uttarakhand flood actually happened on the Dholi Ganga River. Dholi Ganga River arises on the Raikana Glacier. As I've said in the beginning, the state of Uttarakhand is home to many glaciers. Here are the list of important glaciers in Uttarakhand. We have to look at the glaciers in Garhwal region. And more importantly, in the Chamoli district, which is the Nanda Devi group of glacier. That means a portion of the Nanda Devi glacier broke off on Sunday morning. Now I want you to pay attention. When glaciers melt and they form glacial lake, the water from the lake slowly drains out in the form of a river. Now imagine, even if few massive chunks of glaciers break and fall into the lake, that will not only increase the volume of water in the lake, it will also increase pressure. As a result, water gushes out and causes flash flood in the river. As I've said, the southern division of Chamoli district consists of mountains that are composed of sedimentary and low-grade metamorphic rocks. Naturally, when large volume of water comes down at such a massive speed, it will wash away sediments, rocks and boulders. It will cause massive erosion, landslides and any kind of man-made infrastructure like dam villages will be washed away. So whenever you hear glacier burst, it means bursting of glacial lake. The proper geography term is glacial lake outburst flooding. It is a sudden release of a massive amount of water which is held in glacial lake. And that sudden release usually happens when massive chunks of glacier breaks and falls into the lake. Now there are speculations whether the flood was triggered by a glacial lake burst or landslide. Many experts are looking into it. However, the aim of this video was to make you understand what is glacial lake outburst. And I hope you have also learnt a little bit about the geology of Uttarakhand. 